What makes you content? And what do you offer thanks for? Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. 180 seconds a pure Bible study, three minutes, Monday through Friday. Thanks for participating. What is it that makes you content? Because your thankfulness will be tied to that. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 8. There Paul says, with food and clothing, with these things we'll be content. And that's really going to change the way we look at our life because if we think to ourselves, you know, I don't have the kind of clothes I want. I don't have the kind of food that I want. I don't live where I want. That's really a demonstration of being an ingrate. It doesn't mean that you don't desire better things, but we're going to be content. And we're going to realize I need to be thankful for what I have. I want you to look at John chapter 6, and I want to stop, start at verse number 5. This is a scene where Jesus is going to feed some people, but I want you to get this whole picture. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. Now listen closely to verse number 11. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, did you catch that? He had given thanks. He distributed to them, to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. Isn't that amazing? But here's something I want you to think about. Why would Jesus give thanks? He knows what he's going to do. He's using his divine power to demonstrate this wonderful sign, this wonderful miracle. I mean, he's doing it all. Why is he giving thanks? Because that's the characteristic of graciousness. That's the characteristic of thankfulness. That's the characteristic that embodies Jesus. And that's the characteristic that needs to embody us. Is we need to realize that without God, we are nothing. And whatever we have, we need to give Him thanks for, and we need to demonstrate that toward other people as well. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.